Hi there. Welcome to Rich and SJ. The summer edition by the look of it, it's absolutely roasting today. I wasn't actually going to video this project. It's a little bit of a uh, knock together greenhouse. But having had a chat about it with SJ, we decided that it kind of sums up what we're about. So what we're doing is we're making a greenhouse. Bit of a lean to knock together thing. We used to have a, what we always called the chitting shed. Chitting as in potatoes. We decided that we were going to take that down because it's a bit ramshackle and a bit past its best and we did knock together a little bit of a lean-to greenhouse but we're going to reuse, recycle and repurpose what we've got. The windows that you'll see here and here are actually what was in the shed originally but they were all a bit damaged and worn and glasses broken etc. They've all been uh, refurbished all the frames, they're all being put back together, filled, painted, etc. And then there's a door frame there, which is actually one I found in said shed. There's also a door which actually came from the garage, actually, the door to the uh, to the toilet that was in the garage. That'll need a little bit of work, but that's going to go on it. It's a no fancy joinery or anything like that, it's butt jointed, nailed, screwed, whatever's appropriate. Built basic framework, strengthened the roof up a little bit, and then I've just been trimming down the boards to place on the bottom, to skin the bottom for want of a better term I suppose. They're all getting put in place. It's a make do with what we've got, very much sums up what we're about. Hope you enjoy the video, and remember give us a thumbs up if you like it. Here we are, the shed up to now. Windows just need a little bit of beading around the edge in a sill. Not fantastic joinery. Not bad for a knock together out and bits of old shed and stuff that we've found. Let's even find something for the side. We've got a panel that'll cover most of it. I think it's a piece of external ply. So I'll use that, I think.
certain level of satisfaction about building something out of what you've got. You can buy all shiny and new, but in reality, you know, turn around and say, we built this. You built this? We built this. Or just a bag of random old nails, it's great. Are they all recyclable? Just the what's been lying around. Ta da! Last noggin in. Told you it weren't pretty during it. It's just basic noggin's done for the roof. Panels can go on next. Considering how late it's getting, I think we might do that tomorrow. I think it might be strong yeah. enough. Go on, do I get higher? <laughs> So here we are, we're now at the stage where we've got all our um, boarding on the front, windows are in, still need to put the glass in, the roof in, we finally found this stuff, we were convinced we'd put it in the shed, stopped, didn't think about it, went and had a drink, I've just remembered where it is, it were on top of the chicken run. So this will be its third incarnation, it started out as life at a previous property, we had it covering the koi pond in winter, then it ended up on top of the uh, chicken run and now it's going to end up on top of the greenhouse. Second time being upcycled. So the project, Sarah Jane's going to clean all that up, get all jet washed off. I'm going to finish off the windows. That should see us with something like a greenhouse. Glad it's not smelly, really. Whew, it's a bit. This is years worth of rubbish. But the roof's done at least, so it's it's not watertight, but it's reasonable. Is it good for growing tomatoes? It would be perfect for growing tomatoes, which is all we really want. Exactly. Will it keep the frost up the tender plants? Should do. Well then. Result. Can't see any reason why not.
Here we have the door for greenhouse. Oh, I made the door frame in the greenhouse the same width as this. This door needs to be shortened, which is a good job because we've got a little bit of damage and rot on the bottom edge. The intention is to take this bottom rail out and then shorten the planks on the bottom panel, shorten the styles and then put the rail back in. Let's get cracked on.
So here we have it, our completed hat greenhouse couple of weeks on. I say completed, doesn't have a gutter on it at the moment, which ideally it could do with, and probably just a fascia board or something, but doesn't stop it working, as you can see in our forest of tomatoes. The whole intention was that we wanted something that would just give us the option of growing some tomatoes and things that are slightly more tender. So we've got some tomatoes growing, we've got some sweet potato, we've got peppers, chilies, cucumbers, more yellow peppers than we can shake a stick at. As you can see, we went through the whole remit of weather and temperatures as we were building this over for the space of a couple of weeks, I would say. We went from summer to, win to winter. I don't like we didn't film it in reverse, to be honest. Shorts and vests to uh, two jumpers and uh, long trousers. So, strange old, strange old British uh, springtime as usual. We also put in a set of shelves. So we turned it into one half as a potting shed as well. So you've got, obviously we're using it at the moment, so there's bits all over, but both put a quick bench in, a couple of shelves, nothing too fancy, just somewhere just to pot, pot on and store some pots and all the bits and pieces that you usually gather in greenhouses and potting sheds. So that's it, that's our greenhouse. Let us know what you think. Do you like what we've done, considering we've done it all in recycled materials and bits and pieces and wherever we can find. I don't think it's a bad job. For a temporary greenhouse, it's not bad. And when I say temporary, it looks like it's only going to be here a year because we've got plans to put another one somewhere else and use this space for another upcoming project which you will have to wait and see. You've got to see my thoughts on the greenhouse. What's Sir Jane's thoughts? Do you like it? Is it what you expected? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favourite bit? Or what do you love about it? I love the fact that it's sheltered. I've got amazing beanstalks, even though they're, they're supposed to be tomatoes. I've never ever grown tomatoes like this. They are huge. <laughs> uh, I just like it. You can hear the rain. You can be in here when it's cooler outside, but it's just it's just nice. And I, I, like, I like being with plants. There you go. I love it. And I'm a little bit sad that it's only temporary and it's maybe going to have to move next year. But okay. Onwards and upwards we might have a bigger and better one. And we've got someone, not sure who. Tapping the outside or running on the roof. Running on the roof. Come here, it's turkey. Come on. Come on there. <laughs> Meet Turkey! You can barely see him! Hello! Hello, hello! Anyway, yes, I love it, and I'm a little bit sad that it's only for 12 months. Potentially. I can't wait for the next one. Bigger and better. Anyway, but thank you, I love it. So if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this and see where the next couple of projects are going to take us. Hit the subscribe and if you want to be notified when we post new videos, hit that bell. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.